After a little overnight snow, the sun has come out once again in the Hochzillertal area in Austria. That is the two ski towns of Kaltenbach and Hochfugen. Kaltenbach you've already seen a little bit of, but today I'm finally doing some ski touring. I've just passed the second marker. Um, now I think this is a 5k hike, so I'm anticipating this to take between an hour to an hour and a half. It was a big night last night uh, with the Peace Head guys at the end of season closing in Seoul, but I'm definitely taking a few breaks here, taking in the sights and sounds and taking in some big deep breaths. Whew. For those of you wondering, why am I spending all day walking uphill on a set of skis when I can just get the gondola? There's two reasons mainly. First of all, I'm always looking to experience the mountain lifestyle in a new light. And I have flirted a little bit with touring before, um, but only on the other occasion. And so this season, that was one of my goals, was to get into this more, um, did the AST course in Ravelstoke. Things did not turn out the way they planned, but this opportunity has come up. And one thing that's great about Europe is there is so much to tour. Um, quite close to the pistes, um, but also what you'd call as out of bounds. I mean, I'm looking at so much stuff from here. Check this out. All of that is tourable. Now, that is not patrolled. For any one of you on sort of the America, uh, Canadian side of the Atlantic wondering if that's all patrolled, it's not. Uh, you'd more than likely need a guide to go up to there. So I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just on a cat track actually to the side of the piece today. Secondly, it is fantastic for your physical and your mental well-being to get outdoors. Um, like I said, it was a little bit rough this morning, but uh, I've sweated that off now. This would be even greater if I was with friends. Uh, sadly, not to be right now, but enjoying it. Boy, is it a workout. <laughs> Maybe one of the only downsides to touring anywhere really, but especially touring near the resort, is that you don't get your pick of fresh tracks. Having said that, the Hochzillertal area is so wide and you know a lot of Europeans do tend to stick to the piece. So in terms of what I'm eyeing up as my line down, I'm looking way over there, thinking of traversing across where those other tracks are and bringing myself down to the gondola at the bottom. But we're not that far away now. I can see the top of the gondola just up there. Final push. these two lovely caricatures to greet me at the top and let me know that I've finally made it. 2,400 meters we're at the top of the Zillatal shuttle. Uh, it's 3.30, it took a little bit longer granted but lots of stops for catching a breath, filming, uh, doing pieces to camera but all in all really good fun. Now 
Time to get down. Don't forget the importance of safety when out touring, even if you are within bounds. It's important to make sure you have your transceiver, a shovel and a probe um, and that you've done the necessary planning before the start of your trip. Um, I would highly recommend that anyone who's looking to get into touring or into backcountry skiing to do the necessary uh, safety uh, training just to get familiar and understand uh, what is at play when you go into this area. But Final thoughts for me, I'm knackered. That was a really challenging day, but highly rewarding. Um, couldn't have asked for better conditions. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, the slightly different uh, ski experience than I'd normally show you. Um, I'd love to do more of these in the future. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the video. Uh, did you like the drone shots? Put them in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please, please do make sure you hit that button and hit the notification bell so you can keep up to date with all of these future videos. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.